Hi my peepers, this is Shalene of the Coloring Book Nook. And this is another flip through. This time we are showing the books I own by Aaron Shepard. He is the author of these books. They are story books with coloring and each book has a different artist that did the pictures. So let's get started. The Baker's Dozen is the first one that was sent to me and I have not colored in it. I don't think I started in it anyways. So it's the Baker's Dozen. This is pictures by Wendy Edelson but the story is by Aaron Shepard. The Baker's Dozen. So he sent this to me. He had reached out to me a long time ago <laughs> and had sent this to me so it has a story and then these beautiful beautiful grayscale coloring books you don't even need to color in these they are so pretty so yep yeah, so you have the story on one side and then the images and they are absolutely beautiful they you, no you do not want to use I would not use I don't know, I wouldn't use wet media in this, wet medium, and I would not use alcohol markers because they're going to bleed through and then you're not going to be able to read the story. So you don't want anything to read through, to bleed through on the other side. So, yeah. Gorgeous coloring books. Yeah, he had, I can't remember if he emailed me, or I think he Facebook messaged me. So, yep, and then it tells you about the children's book, about the artist, and about the author. It is a children's story, but I definitely would say it's an adult coloring book. So there is that one. And then the Skeeter and the Weasels. This one is also written by Aaron Shepard and the artist is Ann L. Watson. Again, he he didn't even reach out to me. He just sent me the this one and the next two books. He just sent them to me. So, yep. So you have a story and then you have your picture. You can color again. I would not use alcohol markers. I would not use what I would not use wet medium. Gorgeous, gorgeous books. I am thinking of not coloring in these and just putting them on my bookshelf and can read to my grandsons. I will have the links down below for these coloring books on Amazon. And I am an Amazon associate, which means when you click on those links, I make a few cents off your order. There is no extra cost to you by using my links. They're very nice pages. I love them. They're, they're really nice. They're so, it's smooth. But, yep. And then that's it. And then this is The Quackling. Also by Aaron Shepard. The artist is Wendy Edelson. So, A Feathered Fairy Tale. So again, your story and then your pictures. And again, I don't think I'm going to color in these. I just want to put them on my shelf, read them to my grandsons. They're so pretty without the coloring. I may color in them someday, but for right now, I think I'm going to leave them the way they are. 
They're just gorgeous. <laughs> and then that's it. So, and it gives you ideas of colors on the back. It does on all of them. And then the Sea King's Daughter, also by Aaron Shepard. And this one, the artist is Genedy Spearin. Genedy, Genedy Spearing. Spiron. So this time the story is on the right side and the pictures on the left. Oh, and then you got double spreads. And then just on the top you can color. Oh, this one's on the right. I guess it's just all over in this book, <laughs> which makes it fun. But the images in the paper so smooth. The images are just... See, and then this one you don't even color. So, yeah. Gorgeous. I have not read the stories yet. I've had these for a while and I still have not read the stories. I I need to take them with me this week, I guess. I start babysitting again tomorrow or, well, by the time you see this, I've been babysitting for a week. So I should take these, but, and then there's how they're colored. So that is it for these books. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later, my peepers. Bye-bye!